you know those days where nothing goes right? You know those days? <sighs> Today was one of those days for me. Uh... Honestly, today was one of the worst days I've had in a long time. Oh my goodness, today was hard. Uh, this morning, I took Hunter to the airport, and that was fine. Uh, no real big issues there, but when I went to work, that's when it all... That's when it all went downhill. Uh, just... Yeah. It wasn't any one person's fault either. It was just, ever, there was nothing that was going smoothly. It was just, oh my goodness. Like, the charger for the device that we use on a daily basis. Uh, for, like, in our van, the charger is fine. You slap it in the charger, like the device you put in the charger, it charges, it's fine. You know, you still got to be careful that you charge it or else the device, you know, will die. And the thing is, our, our van is still in the shop. We haven't gotten it back yet. And so we need to use one of the vans from one of the Pasadena stores. And their charger does not work. It does not charge at all if i mean if at all is very is a very small amount and so the device that we use a lot on a daily basis just i mean it was either dead or dying the entire time i was working and that really stinks uh because i like i said i use it a lot um <laughs> but uh and it was it was just tough because um, the route, the people who made my route, like they, uh, they kind of made a mistake and sent me somewhere for no real reason because like I showed up there and the people thought like oh you're you're supposed to have gotten stuff from this store and then I called the hub place the people who make my route and I was like what's you know, going on, I'm just curious because they don't know or they thought this should happen or something like that and they didn't really know either and it was like, oh my goodness, so I moved on and like my store is telling me to go one place and the Pasadena store is telling me to, you know, uh, is wanting me to go to this place and if I can't go to this place, take the stuff back to the store so at least somebody can... Oh my goodness, it was just, it was nuts, it was really nuts, and then, you know, in amongst all this craziness, I get a phone call, and I missed the phone call, but I called back, and uh, it was the North Hollywood store, and I was informed that I did not get the job that I was hoping to get. I did not get the full-time position. Um, apparently he found somebody else who was from a busier store and who had more experience than me. So, I mean, that's, for him, it makes sense. It's fine. He doesn't owe me anything. He's a good guy, you know. I'm not mad at him or anything, but it's such a bummer for me. It's just like, oh my goodness. I was hoping so bad to get that job, you know, I mean, I thought I had it in the bag, I'm like, you know, I got, I, uh, my old manager put in a good recommendation for me, I, you know, I know how to do the job, so, like, I thought it was like a shoe-in kind of thing, but, you know, I mean, if he found somebody with more experience, I suppose it kind of makes sense, but, and especially if he came from a busier store who can, like, I don't know, who has more experience with, like, a crazy, hectic, like, I, you know, it, it makes sense, and again, like I said, I'm not mad at the guy for not hiring me, but it's just, it, it stinks, and so that, that was the biggest bummer of the day, obviously, uh, not getting that job, but, 
yeah, so it was just, it was a rough day. And what, what stinks is because, like, I wanted the day to be over so bad. But I also don't want it to be over because then I have a meeting that I have to go to tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock in the morning. So it's going to, it's going to, oh my goodness, it's going to stink because it's going to be from 8 to 12. And then I have another, uh, another shift of work from 2 to 7. So it's going to be a long day and I'm going to be well and truly spent afterwards. So... Oh, man, I just can't wait for tomorrow to be over. I think I might go see Pirates of the Caribbean tomorrow. I don't know. I might not. I might wait until Friday because I might just be bushed tomorrow. But, um, yeah. So, I was thinking today about things. Like, I, I, I think a lot. I'm a big thinker. Especially when crud hits the fan, kind of like it did today. I think a lot. And I was thinking that since I still, I still need some supplement for my financial situation because my financial situation it's not a terrible one but it's not it's not sufficient long term like it's not a good long term solution and so I'm like I need something to like boost you know like something to fill in the cracks and I was thinking uh I was driving past Warner Brothers the other day I told my mom this I was driving past Warner Brothers, and I saw these security guards crossing the street going into the studio, and it looked like they were about to start their shift or something. Like, that's, you know, they're going into work. And then I set, like, apart from that, I saw an interview from, oh, I forget his name, a big actor. He played uh, Superman, Superman's dad in Man of Steel. I forget his name, though. And he said, uh, when he before he got big, before he got you know big into acting, he when he was just starting out, he was like, if I'm if I'm going to be taking trash out, I at least want it to be movie trash. <laughs> so he worked on like sound stages and did stuff you know behind the camera and uh, stuff like that. And all that just kind of it kind of came together in my mind. Like I, I think it'd be really cool. To work on a studio lot. Doing something. I have no idea. You know. Anything. I, I could. Sing in janitor. I don't know. Idea. I, but. You know. Warner Brothers is a big place. A huge place. And I'm sure there are plenty of jobs to be had. So. I wonder. If I couldn't. Get some job in Warner Brothers so that I could, well, A, just go to Warner Brothers for work. How cool would that be? But uh, just so that, you know, I can, like, w while I'm working on myself becoming an actor, you know, I can potentially be rubbing shoulders with people who already are actors, you know? I can be, you know... Bumping into people who make movies, big movies, you know, and I could potentially, you know, who knows who I'd meet, not just for like, oh, I met so-and-so today, but, you know, actually like good networking possibilities. Um, I have no idea if this is like a realistic idea or not, but like it's, it's something. So I might start looking into that somehow, but I don't know. I just, I need to not think for a little bit tonight so i think for now that is gonna do it i will talk to you guys tomorrow